Kia ora, we're Chris and Charlotte from Aotearoa, New Zealand. We live on the road full time and our house bus remove the need. Join us for life on the road adventures and trail running missions as we explore this beautiful country of ours and connect with different communities. Hey my friends, hope you're going well. I'm in West Auckland today, uh, just about to go and catch up with my mate Wally and um, yeah, I think we're going to go out for a bit of a drive and yeah, just have a good catch up. He's um, someone that I've known for, yeah, 25 years, uh, amazingly. So yeah, since I was around 14 or 15 years old, so pretty cool. Yeah, and West Auckland is like very much like kind of where I'm from and like where I really identify as being from and where I grew up. and and also uh, where I got up to a lot of mischief as well in my teens and in my 20s. So yeah, I actually really just love, yeah, returning to West Auckland like for visits. Obviously we're staying in uh, Hibiscus Coast um, these days, me and Charlotte, certainly over winter periods and certainly over this COVID lockdown we've been in Auckland. But yeah, I really love returning to West Auckland and yeah, keep going to my old neighbourhood and seeing a few old friends. Yeah, there's something special about West Auckland for me as being someone that's grown up there. Yeah, returning there is just always so nice and I love, like, I love the mixed cultures of West Auckland. Yeah, I love that it's just kind of like, it's got this like roughness around the edges, this sort of perfect imperfection about it and yeah I just love that uh, in comparison to yeah other like groomed neighborhoods <laughs> shall we say yeah I really love that um, kind of mixed I, I feel that vibe the similar vibe that I get in West Auckland uh, I get in Rotorua as well um, which is another place where I like to spend a lot of time yeah just a real connection to yeah, it's just like where people are, like where real people are, you know, like doing their lives and uh, yeah, doing their mahi and stuff, you know, and so yeah, I, I really just love that. And yeah, so yeah, today catching up with Wally. Also recently, I'll talk about later in the video, yeah, an old school friend, uh, Robbie Hart, who was uh, who unfortunately passed away a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's pretty sad, like, um, and it's kind of like, almost the impetus today of of me like going man like yeah he's the same age as me and and uh, you know I've lost you know you lose you know you lose people along the way and, and too soon some people and uh, so it was really kind of like yeah the impetus in a way to like be like man I need to catch up with some people and spend some time with some people and stuff like that and um, so yeah let's go and do that Take the machines and make me be 
So I'm on my way home now after hanging out with Well for the day. Yeah, what a day. It was just so nice. And the weather was just really nice. And I forgot how uh, hot it gets in a convertible and how exposed you are. Um, yeah, my lips are all dry and stuff like that. So it's pretty funny. But um, yeah, it was just so nice to get out and chill and have some time out and um, catch up with an old mate and, uh, you know, tell some old tales and, um, yeah, and things like that, eh? and just to get a cruise in his car. I haven't been in his car for, um, yeah, for a good few years now. And uh, I used to have a classic car myself back in the day, but um, save that for another video. But, uh, yeah, it was just so so nice to get out there anyway. Um, but, yeah, I was going to talk about Robbie just um, in closing. Um, yeah, Wally knew him as well. And, yeah, it was a bit of a bit of a shock there a couple of weeks ago to hear about, uh, yeah, an old mate that I used to know, you know, years ago. Um, Robbie Hart uh, passed away uh, very suddenly and uh, just, just sad, you know, and um, he was such a kind-hearted person, a real, like, nice, genuine guy. Yeah, I, I'm not sure of his family. I think he had one or two kids, one or two young kids as well. And you know, what I remember about uh, Robbie is just an exceptional and unbelievably talented guitar player, electric guitar player. Uh, I just remember being at school, um, yeah, when I was younger and just yeah, seeing him play, yeah, the metal, like he was playing like the riffs and Metallica songs and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, just really incredible. And watching him do that stuff way back then, like we were teenagers, he just made it look easy. He looked like he was just cruising, looking around and doing it, you know, and playing all these crazy riffs, you know, and yeah, super talented and um, nice guy. And so, yeah, like my heart goes out to, yeah, Robbie's like close friends and family, um, yeah, in this time, um, yeah. Yeah, go well, eh? And uh, rest in peace, Robbie, as well. So yeah, in closing, Go and hang out with a friend that you haven't hung out with for a while, you know? And uh, yeah, life is short. Catch up with someone that you haven't seen for a while. Swap some old tales. Uh, anyway, my friends, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed um, those clips of cruising around the neighborhood and a cool old car. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.